Hey, this is Teddy, your LinkedIn and sales navigator, strategist, trainer, and coach. And the question I got asked is this. Two questions, actually. Number one is, should I tag companies in my post? And number two is, what happens when I tag them? So I'm going to answer both those questions in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create every one of these videos specifically for you. So tagging companies in posts, should I do that? The answer is absolutely yes, if it's relevant. The answer is absolutely yes, if there's a good reason to do it. Now, if you want to share something on LinkedIn and, you know, you want to share some success, you know, congratulations to Burris Consulting, capital B-U-R-R-I-S-S-C-O-N, Congratulations to Burris Consulting Incorporated for another great webinar series. We enjoyed what you shared in the last session, in these sessions. So I just tagged Burris Consulting Inc. in a post. Now, should I do that? Yes, if it's relevant. Should I do that? Yes, if it's appropriate. It's a great way to pull company and company names into your, uh, your conversation. Now, let's talk about what happens when you do that. I gotta put the hashtag testing here because I'm just testing <clears throat> and I'm gonna hit post. Now, what happened? Well, first of all, I read a few answers where they said you get an email. Well, I don't think you get an email. I don't have um, any, I have no email that came in. Now my email's sitting right here and it's still blank. I'm hit refresh this and let me go look up my email real quick. I'm gonna refresh it. Nope, I got no email. And I, I, I don't know how to turn email on if I can. If I, I have to go check my notifications. Let me go take a quick look at that. Give me a second. There's no email notification that I can find that would send a company page notification to my email and I'm the super admin. I don't see that. Let's go back to LinkedIn. Now let's go look at the company page. So if I go to the company page, right here it is, Burris Consulting. You see I have five notifications right here. Five notifications. Click on that or just click directly on page notifications. And here they are here. Got five new visitors, got one new visitor two weeks ago, I got a new visitor four weeks ago, and then I look, here's what happened. It's It says the company was mentioned uh, in an update. Teddy Burris mentioned the company in an update. Now that's, that is exactly what happens. If I click on that, it takes me to Teddy Burris's post where he mentioned Burris Consulting Incorporated. And if you notice up here, I have the actor company ID code right here, and it will allow me to, I can comment back from my page notifications tab. And I hit post. And it allows me to comment back as the company. Now, what happens now, if uh, it, this becomes a spiraling activity, if I go to notifications, I should see, eventually I should see where Burris Consulting commented on my post. Because Burris Consulting is a company page, and that's my personal post. So bottom line, should you mention companies in post? And the answer is yes, where relevant and appropriate. To pull the right company into conversations that are relevant to that company and relevant to the individuals who work with or for that company. Question number two, what happens? What happens is it creates a notification on the company page to where the company uh, page admins, either a content admin or super admin, 
has the ability to see that comment in the um, uh, activity. They don't get an email. They don't get a personal notification. It only shows up on the page notifications for the super admin or the content admin or editorial admin to engage with it. I'm Teddy Burris, your sales navigator and LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. Pay attention to your company page activity because you may be missing some fabulous conversations that have gotten started. Music